Welcome to Cherokee Speedway, home of the March Madness $10,000 to win O'Reilly Southern All-Stars race. Here we are at Cherokee Speedway, the place your mama warned you about on Racetrack TV. Here we are at Cherokee Speedway, the place your mama warned you about in Gaffney, South Carolina for the March Madness $10,000 to win super late model race on racetracktv.net. Standing with me right here, he's known as the Hickory Dirt fan. We got Mark here. Mark, you've been coming to a lot of races, super late model races all over the southeast, I know. You've been here at Cherokee Speedway. You've said this is probably your favorite racetrack, that you, your favorite all-time racetrack. What's the best race you've ever seen here at Cherokee Speedway, Mark? Well, Danny, I started coming down here about 1985. I was an asphalt guy, got tired of that stuff, come down here to dirt track racing. I was amazed at what I saw. Uh, I saw some great races here. The Blue Gray races, they've had many great races. They've had Bloomquist and Moran. And but besides the, the big races, their weekly program is one of the best weekly programs of any track that I go to, and I can visit quite a few tracks. Uh, they make some big changes here to the track this year, change of the times, a little uh, just, just the change in their ways here, and I'm hoping the little track is going to be just as ex exciting as the uh, big track always was. No doubt, Mark. i tell you what, Ronnie and Lenny took a, took a gamble here, and they've made this track, shortened it to three-eighths of a mile, and i tell you what, I expect the late-mile racing to be incredible. It's going to keep the packs tightened up, and on this track, the way they've got it figured, I, I can see these cars going three wide today, Mark. You've seen all the rigs out in the pits. You see any heavy hitters, and who you predict to win today? Well, you got some out-of-town guys. I think Clint Smith. I'm not sure Shane Clanton's here. He's supposed to be here, but I pretty much got to ride with the locals, uh, Rambo. But the, the one guy I've had to pick him is Chris Madden. I mean, the guy rolls in the gate. He's got to be the favorite everywhere you go. Chris Madden wins everywhere he goes, and uh, Chris Madden's got to be the favorite. New track. Uh, I don't know if he's had any laps on the track. You know, dirt track, your hot laps are short and sweet, so he's going to have to, and some of these guys have had practice, so that could be a disadvantage to him. Uh, it's just going to be a crapshoot as who hits that fast time and uh, hopefully has some good passing today. No doubt. He's the hometown boy, and he's the 2006 O'Reilly Southern All-Stars champion. Hickory Dirt fan has picked him to win today. Chris Smokey Madden in the 44 car. Racetracktv.net. All right, here we are with Racetrack TV at Cherokee Speedway, the place your mama warned you about. I found some dirt track race fans right here. Where are you, what's y'all's names? Uh, Kenneth and Libby Hunt. All right, and where are y'all from? Valdez, North Carolina. Valdez, North Carolina. And who are you pulling for today in today's super late model main event? Mike Duval. Mike Duval, the National Dirt Track Hall of Famer right here at Cherokee Speedway, racing for $10,000. Is Mike going to take the $10,000 today? I believe so. Now you heard it right here, Cherokee Speedway, Gaffney, South Carolina, on racetracktv.net. Here we are back at Cherokee Speedway for the March Madness, $10,000 to win O'Reilly Southern All-Stars Super Late Model Race. I found a couple dirt track race fans right here in the grandstands. Let me hear your names real quick. James Childers, I'm from Gaffney, South Carolina. Okay, and what's your name? Heather Childers from Gaffney, South Carolina. Okay, and I tell you what, I was noticing their shirts here today, and we got a battle going on here today. Who's your favorite race car driver? Give them a shout out real quick. Mike Duval. Mike Duval in the F1 Flintstone Flyer. And your favorite race driver is? Rambo Dennis Franklin. Now, what's going to happen if those two start on the front row today? And let's say your driver wins. Who's sleeping on the couch tonight? She will be. Oh, no, you heard it right here on racetracktv.net. Look at this crowd filling up for the March Madness race here at Cherokee Speedway. Okay, we're back here at the top section of the grandstands at Cherokee Speedway for the $10,000 to win O'Reilly Southern All-Stars March Madness race. And I've got a race fan here. What's your name real quick? Mike Hartley. And Mike, where'd you come from to watch today's race here at Gaffney, South Carolina's Cherokee Speedway? Uh, Gilbert, South Carolina. Gilbert, South Carolina. Who are you pulling for to take home $10,000 today in the March Madness race at Cherokee Speedway? Chris Smokey Madden. Chris Smokey Madden, the 2006 O'Reilly Southern All-Stars race champion, going to take it right here today by my buddy here with a Chris Madden shirt on. Right. Here we are down in turn one at Cherokee Speedway, home of the $10,000 win March Madness race at the place your mama warned you about. I found a couple dirt track race fans here. Tell us what your names are. Brian Roller. All right, Brian, and your name is? Tish Monroe. Okay, and we got to know, where'd y'all come from to come to Gaffney for this race today? Hollywood, Georgia. Hollywood, Georgia. How about that? How about your favorite race driver to race today and take home $10,000? Oh, we're hoping it's Casey Roberts. Casey Roberts. And what number is Casey driving today? He's driving the 101. The 101. Watch for the number 101 car. You're going to see it here on racetracktv.net. 
Here we are, and look at all the Chris Madden fans in the house today. We found another one right here pulling for Chris Madden. What's your name? Aaron Baker. Aaron, where'd you come from today to Cherokee Speedway to see this race? Annapolis, North Carolina. All right, and who? You, let's give a shout out to Chris Madden real quick. Woo! Go Smokey! You heard it right here, pulling for the 2006 O'Reilly Southern All Stars Points Champion right here at Cherokee Speedway. You're going to see it on RacetrackTV.net. Here we are down at turn four at Cherokee Speedway, the place your mama warned you about. Gaffney, South Carolina, $10,000 to win O'Reilly Southern All-Stars on the line today. Found some race fans right here sitting in turn four. What's your names? My name's Brent Clark. I'm out of Greer, South Carolina. All right, and your name? Tim Blackwell, Greer, South Carolina. And your name? Teresa Merritt, Greer, South Carolina. Good deal. And we've got some competition right here pulling for different drivers. Who's going to take home $10,000 today? It's going to be PDI V06, baby. PDI V06. How about you? Chris Madden, 44. Number 44, and how about you? Number one, Rick Weeks. Oh, my God, we're undecided right here. It's going to be a battle here and down there. Look at the crowd filling up here at Cherokee Speedway, and you're going to see it on racetracktv.net. Okay, we're sitting down here on the front row at Cherokee Speedway, the place your mama warned you about. $10,000 to win O'Reilly Southern All-Stars starting right here today. Who we got with us today here today? Rodney Hudson. Andy Blackwood. How about these youngsters over here? What's your name? Andrew Blackwood. And what's your name? Morgan Blackwood. Good deal. Where'd y'all come from today to see this race? Rock Hill, South Carolina. Rock Hill, South Carolina. Who's going to take home $10,000 today? Chris Madden. Chris Madden, Smokey, number 44, the defending O'Reilly All-Stars champion. Here we are in the pit area, Gaffney, South Carolina, Cherokee Speedway, the place your mama warned you about. And we found a great late model driver, Bill Spider-Man Morgan, right here, Bill. Uh, Bill, how do you feel your chances are today, and how do you feel about the new 3 8 mile out there configuration? Oh, I like it pretty good. It's, uh, you know, it's going to take a little work it on, get it worked out right, but it, uh, uh, I like it. It's all a circle, you know, all of them, you got to get used to them. But, uh, I don't know. We've, we got better and better the longer we run yesterday. We might not do nothing today, but the longer we run yesterday, the better we got. So uh, we're going to see what happens. That's right. You heard it right here. Watch for the M1 car with the Spider-Man on it. Bill Morgan, the M1, on racetracktv.net. All right, we're back here in the pits at Cherokee Speedway, the place your mama warned you about, and we found a big-time super late model driver right here, Jimmy Owens. Jimmy, tell everybody where you're from here today, all your fans. Uh, we come here from Newport, Tennessee. Newport, Tennessee, Cherokee Speedway. Jimmy, have you had any, have you had any track time since they changed the track, shortened it 3 8 mile yet out there? No, we haven't had an opportunity to get out on the track. Uh, everybody tells us we need to watch out for turn one and two, so we got to keep our eyes peeled for that. Well, I tell you what, 3 8 of a mile is going to make an exciting race here at Cherokee Speedway. Seen a ton of people up here in the grandstands wearing their number 20 shirts. Watch for Jimmy Owens running up front. Cherokee Speedway. $10,000 on the line. Jimmy Owens. Hey, we're with uh, Fred Smith down here at Gaffney. Uh, how'd you qualify today, Fred? Well, I really don't know yet. Uh, he hasn't got the board up yet, but we're probably in about the middle ways of the field there. We, uh, we don't have a real good motor in this thing this, for down here, and I got my other two motors uh, supposed to pick one of them up next week, so we ought to get a little better with it. Did you go down to Speed Weeks this year? Have you been racing any so far? Yeah, we went down there. We didn't have no luck. We ran good, but just didn't have no luck down there. Uh-huh. Uh, you going to have to run a pretty hard compound tire today to stay with these guys? or? Well, it, uh, it's according, really. Uh, I think we got to get a little harder than what we qualified with, but you know we won't get plum hard until uh, feature time. Uh -huh. Well, good luck today, and uh, we sure appreciate you coming out and uh, interviewing with us here well, on Racetrack TV. I appreciate y'all guys doing it. Thank you. Hey, we're here at March Madness with uh, Clint Smith. He's uh, just got the pole, and uh, well, what's it going to take to stay out in front today, Clint? Uh, just uh, main thing, try to uh, deal this heat race in. We got fast time, so now we got to try to get the pole. Uh, got a tough guy on the outside pole, um, so we just see if we can uh, get him beat on the start and uh, get the pole to the feature and do our deal from there. Uh -huh. Well, good luck, and uh, I know you got to go. You're uh, getting ready for your heat race, so uh, have have a good race. Thank you, sir. 
uh, March Madness with uh, Chris Madden, the uh, 05 and 06 Southern All-Stars uh, defending champion. Uh, how'd you qualify today, Chris? Uh, we wasn't too good today. We won the Bulls Gap last night and run. Uh, we led about 81 laps up there, and got trapped up behind a lap car. Scott got by when we run second. We had some things we had to get fixed, so we worked about all night and then come over here. And uh, we didn't qualify real well, but we'll be able to race good. So uh, we wanted to make it interesting for the fans. Right. Uh, yeah, you looked really strong last night. We were up there watching, and uh, uh, it was a really good race. I thought you had had everything under control there, and then those lap cars kind of got in the way. And I think uh, Duval kind of, or uh, excuse me, Bloomquist kind of used you for a pick, or used a lap car for a pick on you. But oh, yeah. uh, it's always easier to run second in lap traffic than it is to lead through lap traffic. Right. You were picking some good holes, and it was some really tight racing. Oh, it was, yeah. it was a good really racing, good race. That's for sure. Uh, what's it going to take today to uh, win this 10,000? Uh, I don't know. You know, this is a new place, a new deal. Uh, it's definitely going to be a little tire game because, you know, nobody's able to run uh, as many laps as they're going to run today. You know, there's no laps been run on it yet, so nobody knows what kind of rubber it's going to take to make the uh, 60 laps. So it'll be interesting. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to choose a really hard compound? Uh, it depends. You know, some will be real hard. Uh, I think uh, some may be a little softer. Mm -hmm. In the past down here, we've seen a lot of cars lead a lot of laps and then uh, right there at the end of the race, uh, blow a right rear or something. So uh, probably going to take a pretty hard compound to make it through the 60 laps, I'd say. Yeah, I don't think you'll see no tires blowed out no more, though. Uh, you know, when it was big, you know, run a lot of 100 lap races. I hate to see it gone. You know, I love to run on a lot of 100 lap races. Ain't many people can make 100 laps on four tires. Mm -hmm. And we we uh, usually make them. Yeah, well, good luck today in your heat race. And I hope you get a good starting position. And uh, maybe you can bring us 10,000 home. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. at Gaffney, South Carolina with James Klein. Uh, James had a little mishap in uh, qualifying. Tell us about your accident there, James. Well, just kind of jumped the cushion here at the top of the racetrack in the one there and car backed in the wall and then turned back to the right and then climbed, hit the, with the right front, climbed the wall and kind of flipped over and wound up on my roof. Uh -huh. uh, didn't hurt yourself or anything, did you? No, no, that's, you know, that's always a good thing, you know, you want drivers all, in all these cars to be safe. Uh, cars pretty well destroyed, though. Uh, what's it going to take to get it back together? You're going to have to build a totally new car? Well, yeah, we'll have to uh, purchase another chassis. It's a GRT chassis. We'll have to purchase another chassis. And most of the parts off of it are salvageable. They're, they uh, didn't didn't really take a big lick, so we'll check everything over and try to put everything over where we can use on a new car. Uh -huh. What kind of motors are you running? Well, the motor we got today is a race engine design motor. Uh, first race out with this motor, but uh, we seen it went pretty good there in the hot lap. Thought we'd have a good good qualifying time. Did you go down for uh, speed weeks this winter? Well, we, we went to Brunswick, Georgia. They had a uh, couple of Southern All-Star races down there, like the one they're having here today, and a uh, run, though. Had a pretty good outing down there. We finished uh, 18th on uh, Friday night and 11th on Saturday night. Made both shows. A lot of race cars down there, so we did pretty well. Yeah, that's, that's a major accomplishment there, I'd say, for sure. Uh, so you're planning on running the uh, entire Southern All-Stars uh, uh, calendar this year? 
Yes, that's what we plan on doing there. Uh, now, you know, we're going to get another car together. They've got a, their next race is uh, March 17th in Cleveland, Tennessee. So we may have missed one or two trying to get back going, but, but we should be back. Mm -hmm. Well, good luck getting it back together, and we hate to see you're out today, but uh, maybe you'll have better luck in the future this year. Yeah, thank you. That's the way racing goes sometimes. That's it. Thanks a lot. All right. Hey, we're here at March Madness with uh, Kevin Tesnier. Uh, Kevin's one of the local crowd favorites. Uh, when he came out there to qualify, we heard the crowd go wild. Uh, how'd you do out there qualifying, Kevin? Uh, we had a decent lap. We was in, uh, the track was, had went away a little bit when we qualified, but we done pretty good. 16.6, uh, .6, I believe it was. Uh, got thrown out, being too light to scale, so I believe we're just gonna put on a trailer and save it for another day. Um, and come back where well, we can come back and race again without any damage. Mm -hmm. Are you planning on running the uh, Southern All Star schedule or what's your plans for this year? I uh, plan on running the uh, Southern All Stars East this year um, and you know, try to run all those races. And then they're going to run the Supers here on a weekly basis. So when they're not running the East, we'll probably run here. Uh -huh. uh, did the track does it tra feel pretty good to you today? How do you like its new configuration? Uh, I don't like it as good as the old. Been racing here many years. I uh, like the old stuff, but once you get used to it, I think once it goes night racing, it'd be a good racy little track. Um, so I, I think it'll come out well. Uh -huh. Well, we've watched you race here for a lot of years, and uh, good luck in the uh, future this year. And uh, uh, hope you uh, end up uh, with some good finishes this year. I uh, hope so. I hope to pick up a few wins this year. There you go. Thank you. Thank you.